Hey everyone, welcome back to Susie's Stuff. I'm so glad you tuned in for another episode. I've got six projects that I hope you enjoy. They are Halloween for your Halloween decor and for your fall decor. So sit back and enjoy. Most of these products were made from Dollar Tree items and I know it's great for your budget. So let's get started. Hi everybody, I'm Susie and this is Susie's Stuff. Welcome to Station KDIY Channel 146. I'm so happy you're here. I would love it if you'd subscribe and then click the bell to be notified when I upload a new episode. If you like what you see, give me a thumbs up. Hey, don't touch that dial. Let's go make some stuff. Okay, for our very first project, the pumpkin plaque. I am using three of the little plaques from Dollar Tree and some of the hammered paint, spray paint. I got that at Walmart and I took it outside and sprayed it. And let me tell you, it is gorgeous how that came out. I am so, so pleased with that. Now I have one of the copper photo uh, frames from uh, Dollar Tree. And then the piece of paper, the little scrapbook paper, is 25 cents at Hobby Lobby. I'm sure all of you have grabbed a few of those from time to time. So while I'm cutting that out, I just want to tell you, those little plaques from Hobby Lobby that I got, they were laying on the bottom shelf and some they were just kind of all messed up and they were kind of stacked on top of each other and I'm like that that looks kind of like a pumpkin and so that's kind of where I got the idea and I also want to say that I've seen other people on their channels use that same uh, technique sort of the ovals to create a, a pumpkin effect so it was kind of funny that um, I saw it and then somebody else did it and so I'm I'm it's just so great to be a part of this community I just love it so anyway um, I hot glued the back of that inside of the frame there and um, so because there's not like a lot of thickness in it and I think I have to go back and and hot glue some more but I'm placing those on there these are the two plaques at the on the on the bottom just giving those some good glue there and then the other one will just go right on top and then I'll add a stem. I don't know if you caught it there, but I actually am gluing this upside down. The little stand in the back on the photo frame, it's upside down. So um, I have to go back and fix that and you'll see here in a minute. I'm using some jute twine from Dollar Tree just to make a, a very simple bow. Uh, I didn't want to do any any kind of ribbon because the background is, is um, kind of busy. So all it needed was just a little bitty bow and there you have it. So um, I just love it and yeah, I'm looking at it and I'm going, oh no, it's upside down. So I just pulled off the back. I'm like, okay, great. And uh, I pulled it off and then I just hot glued it back on and it stands up just fine. So, um, and sometimes I don't even use the stand. I'll just use like a little picture holder. But anyway, it is done. So I just love this. It turned out really pretty. I, I love the copper for fall and it just was just so easy to do. Give me a comment down below and let me know if you liked this one. I think this is going to be maybe my favorite today. I'm not sure. All of them are kind of my favorites, but I sure do love this one. All right, it's time for a pizza pan pumpkin. If you have never made a project or a craft using the Dollar Tree pizza pan, you must. And this is the project for you. I used the metallic spray paint and rust-oleum hammered spray paint and I did the metallic first and then I put the rust-oleum um, uh, hammered on top of that and it just came out perfectly the lines were perfect I don't know kind of like a pumpkin I kind of concentrated on making the lines when I was spraying it who knows but it worked out and here I'm using one of the sponge brushes from Dollar Tree 
and I'm using I think I showed you the wrong one at the beginning this is that is the um, blackboard paint and uh, I use that for the black part here and I'm using one of the Crayola markers uh, to make my pattern it wiped off really easily and I just seriously made a little squiggly line for the mouth and um, I'm using a, a brush here and it's kind of all in the brush just kind of twist it and turn it and then for the little ends I'm using a smaller brush to kind of make it kind of curly cued there and then the little the little nose is kind of like a six and a six backwards that was what I thought of and of course the the um, camera wasn't on when I did the gold part but I just used my small brush and use some metallic gold paint to go over it and make the little curly cue in the eyeballs. And then I added a bow with the top. Let me know what you think. Just comment down below. And I think she turned out super cute. I got a stick for the stem. And uh, here she is on display. And I just love her. She's so easy. So you need to make a pizza pan uh, project from Dollar Tree today. Easy and affordable. Boo! And for our third project, I call it Jacko Spoons. These are so fun. I got these spoons from the Dollar Tree and I got one of those clear glass vases also at the Dollar Tree. And if you don't have one of those, just grab any kind of container that you'd like. And I'm also gonna use some candy corn to hold them in place. So I'm just taking off the little tags and I'm gonna run outside and I'm going, no, I didn't go outside. I thought I did, maybe it was another project. <laughs> anyway, I am using the Men Wax Dark Walnut Stain. And actually this was the first time I've ever stained anything like that. Um, I mean, I've stained, I made a dresser one time, but I have never done it using a project. Uh, I think I used too much. Don't use a lot. Just use a little thin um, amount. It took a little while to dry. And um, so yeah, don't use a lot. Just put it on thinly. And now I'm just using a simple Sharpie and just drawing faces in however I whatever came to my mind. So just have fun with that. You can have your kids even draw their face, some faces on for you. I went back and messed up on that one because they all had dark mouths, so I needed to add a dark mouth. But whatever you come up with, I'm sure will be darling. These are so cute to add into your kitchen, in the corner, up on your cabinets, or whatever. I just think they're so cute. I made four, but um, I only use three in my container and I'm just kind of tying them with whatever ribbon I have around. And um, these would be great for like a little gift to a teacher or whatever, um, like on a little gift bag or something, but these are really cute to have. And now I'm filling up my container. I have to go back. I filled it up too, too, too much and um, just fill it up halfway because it's hard to stick them down in there. And um, I had to add a little glue on that one. It kept slipping down. But just um, add it halfway and then add more candy corn to, to fill it up. And here we go with the finished product. It's so cute. I just love it so much. And I hope that you enjoy it in your kitchen as well. Along to the shiplap candy corn frames. So I got these triangular frames at Dollar Tree and I'm gonna use, uh, make them some candy corn. Oh, what colors are in candy corn? I remember that was a question one time. What are the colors in order? Huh, got it wrong because I don't know, a lot of people say the yellow's in the middle. But anyway, okay, so these frames I got at Dollar Tree and grab them if you can find them because people were just really grabbing them as the lady was even putting them out so um they're super cute and you can just use them with any kind of uh, season and the back does not come off if somebody got it off i don't know how they did it because it is on there so not to worry i just made a pattern out of some cardstock 
I just traced it around and then I just kind of kept trimming to where it would fit inside because I'm going to use that pattern to trace around some foam board. And now I've got my foam board from Dollar Tree. Notice the little green cutting mat. I love it. Got it at Dollar Tree. It is so cute and so handy. If you see it, pick it up and grab it. And it is perfect for little projects like this. So now I'm just cutting it out with my X-Acto knife and it almost fit in there. And now I'm just using my scissors to trim it off a little bit. And so now I'm just taking some popsicle sticks. They're not the giant ones, they're like the medium sized ones. And so I'm just cutting them and it's so much fun after this project is over because they those ends fly everywhere. <laughs> and so now I'm just hot gluing them in sort of a shiplap pattern on the foam board. And then in just a minute, we'll go ahead and trim that off. And I'm using the, um, at first to cut them, I used a pair of the Dollar Tree scissors. But then when I go in and trim the sides off here, I use my good scissors, my good Fisker scissors, and so it worked a little bit better. So this is so easy, just kind of go in and just throw it on the foam board, and then we are ready to trim it off. So there's one I trimmed, and now I'm going to grab my scissors. And I try to do it with the Dollar Tree, but it just doesn't work as well. It works better to cut the depressors, and then my Fisker scissors worked a lot better. So yeah, they, they really do cut pretty easily, and um, Using the shiplap technique, I've seen other crafters do it, and I've always wanted to do it and thought, hey, let's try it with the candy corn, see how well it works. Came out pretty cute. So now I'm taking some black, um, what is that? Blackboard paint from the Dollar Tree, and I'm just putting that on there all around the sides and, and even on the inside. It doesn't matter. Uh, to get it on the inside because I'm going to cover it up anyway. Um, but I'm using a stippling brush because um, it kind of got in through the wood better. I was trying that other brush. I used that brush for the inside, um, but the stippling brush really worked well for the outer part. Okay, just finishing up the black paint. I'm going to finish up with the third one here in a minute. And like I said, the stippling brush really does help to get into the, the grooves of the wood and uh, I think it worked the best. So now moving right along, I will link the colors down below. Um, I used the just really any orange, yellow and white that you have. Um, the yellow I think was, um, well I can't remember. Um, I'll have that link down below for you. But I am just using the first three little shiplap pieces to make the white. And then I go, I think four or something for the yellow. And then the rest with, uh, or excuse me, the orange. And then I used the yellow at the bottom. I really like that color. I cannot remember what it was. What is it? I think it's right behind me. Um, country orange. Okay, now it's gonna kill me. Just a second. Here it is, here it is, here it is. Harvest orange, that's it. It's harvest orange. Yep, but I still will link it down below so you'll have it. But like I said, um, I kinda like the yellow. Maybe I could've gone a little darker, but um, I am gonna go over it uh, with the burnt umber brown uh, to sort of um, give it that rustic look throughout. I kind of liked it like this, but I do go in and age it just a little bit with the burnt umber using my stippling brush. Mm -hmm. 
and you can see like I think I do too much brown just go back in with your color and just fix it it's it's uh, very forgiving so don't be too hard on yourself just add that in there and so you know I probably didn't even have to use the hot glue because it's stuck in there so easily and uh, you could pop it out and reuse it and do something else um, so now I'm using the um, buffalo check ribbon and I'm just gonna put it all around the sides and then I'm going to add a bow on the top I also add some words in one of them uh, I added some little stick on letters boo in the center you'll see it in the finished product I couldn't decide if I wanted to add any letters or what but I did add it to one of them and then I also use a Dollar Tree candle holder that I painted black to hot glue on top and gave it some height to one of them. So I really liked that. You'll see it here in a second. And don't throw away your pattern keep that put it in your file so you'll have it for next time and now here's the finished product of our shiplap candy corn frames and here it is with the candle holder I was telling you about and then I added the words boo inside those were just some letters that I got at Dollar Tree and I just stuck those right on so what do you think leave a comment down below and tell me I love them I think they're so cute you can use them all three together or just one have fun with it today moving right along to upholstery pin pumpkin I am using an old pumpkin that I've had forever I'm sure some of you have an old pumpkin around the house or you could even use a Dollar Tree pumpkin these upholstery pins I got at Walmart. They were 98 cents per pack. And so I got seven packs, I think. I can't remember. It's just going to depend on how big your pumpkin is. These are the sort of bronze pumpkin, or excuse me, <laughs> upholstery pins. And they just push in super easy. And in no time, you are done. And I think it looks so cool because it looks like leather I love it and so the little stem it looked okay the way it was but I thought I'm gonna grab my Waverly truffle paint that I got at Walmart and I'm just painting um, the stem brown and then I'm gonna jump in with some plaster and my stippling brush and I just kind of highlight a little bit around it Now I'm just using some of the really pretty lace ribbon from Dollar Tree. Just made a quick little shoestring bow and hot glued it right on and there you have it. It is truly a Halloween pumpkin. Now this pumpkin I had a long time ago, it's white and the pieces that I used for it, I did it last year and I didn't have the sample piece to show you but it's the little glittery um, strips that you get at Dollar Tree and the little pearls also or no the little black pieces but um, all in all it came out super cute super easy and great for your Halloween decor I hope you enjoyed this one I really do like it I think it's um, really perfect for a Halloween decor and here it is at night happy Halloween project today it's very simple is the owl bucket and I don't know if you've seen this at Dollar Tree I liked it and I thought I'm gonna use it just the way it is and I thought no I'm gonna use my rust-oleum hammered paint I love it I guess this whole episode today has got a lot of copper in it I just love that color for the fall and so I took it outside this beautiful day and gave it a good coat of the hammered rust-oleum it looks really good and so 
turned out great. Now I need it to dry. And now back inside, I decided that the owl needed to pop out just a little bit. So I'm using one of the furniture markers that you can get at Dollar Tree. They're quite cool. They're quite handy to use truly on furniture if you have a little scratch. And they come in different colors. This color here is ma mahogany. So I'm just going over the owl just over and over and over and over again. And uh, it came out really good. It just kind of made it pop out. And um, it's just the neatest little marker. Anyway, grab it. It's over in the um, like the hardware aisle. So now I'm using some of the Dollar Tree glass little pebble jewel things. And I'm putting that on for the eyes. And then I picked up, or I've had some of those, um, what do you call them, glass rocks. And I found a piece that looked like his beak. And so I thought it looked super cute on. So I added that on for his beak. And then over at Walmart, I grabbed some mums. I think these were $1.99. And this is perfect for a little gift for a teacher, a best friend, or your neighbor. And so have fun with this super easy, super inexpensive little project, the Owl Bucket. Well, that's it for today. Thanks for tuning in to Susie's Stuff. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you like it. And don't forget to subscribe and comment down below. Let me know what you think. And we'll see you next time on another episode of Susie's Stuff. Bye-bye, everybody.